Hi, right, welcome back. We're in the Isle of Wight and we're at Osborne House. This was built in 1851 uh, for Queen Victoria and Albert, Prince Albert. It was designed by Thomas Cubitt, who designed Buckingham Palace. And today we're going to be going inside and have a look Just around. Just take a nice bite out of that. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert brought Osborne Estate on the Isle of Wight in 1845 and the house was completed in 1851. Victoria used Osborne House for over 50 years, entertaining foreign royalty and visiting ministers and finding peace there after Albert's death in 1861. rooms are still filled with the original furniture and works of art as they were when Victoria lived here. Prince Albert's snooker table. Royal cues. This is where Queen Victoria would write her diary and look out the window over the gardens. <laughs> Queen sitting room. Queen Victoria's lift. Osborne House and now we're going to just walk down to Queen Victoria's Beach which was down here. Would you have a private beach? Um, no, it's not public. Oh, it's not public? It is public, yeah. No, public. Oh, can I go? oh, the public beach, it always has been. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Thanks, yes. This was also a public beach. Thanks. Just walking down to the beach now. These look old. Wow. I've got a couple of hundred, well, I don't know. They're that sort of piney tree, not oak. And we can see the um, sea, sea front ahead. Uh, come on, come on. 
Here we go. Queen Victoria loved being out in the open air and had several alcove seats installed in the grounds at Osborne, including this one at the beach. Hello. 